families, that oyster would feed us and we'd be able to survive off of that. And the, back then the water used to be very clean, you used to be able to drink from it, and I, guess, I guess they bathed in it as well, and they used it for, um, for cooking and other, and for whatever else they needed water. And currently our oysters, they aren't as, um, we don't have um, as many as we used to back then, like back in the 1600s we had millions of oysters along the Billions and billions, yeah. Billions of oysters, yeah. but due to um, like over harvesting and pollution, um, like the oyster population, they, um, and um, currently we have um, an oyster garden, which is basically a metal cage, which consists of about uh, 500, um, 500 oysters. And each month we basically go out towards, um, by, um, towards the mouth of the river, and we, um, we bring up the cage and we measure, we measure how many oysters we have that are alive and dead. And we just measure like the growth that they're, that, 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 um, that they're slowly uh, making. project so we started it many summers ago and one of the reasons why oysters are important in the river do you guys know anything that oysters do that's really important for the water yeah it cleans it so it's like a filter so same thing like like um what they were saying earlier the water has natural systems that clean it so oysters they suck in water and they take out the impurities that they eat and then they spit it back out so they're like filter systems for the water. So the more oysters, the cleaner the water. That's why in video games, like, you see an oyster under the water, it opens the house. Yeah, well, they don't really open. Do they open? No. Very